Aloha Ohana, welcome back to 808 in any state. Today we'll be sharing how we make your traditional Hawaiian luau plate. So in our previous videos, we've made all of these dishes and today we will show them and how we serve all of these dishes together on one plate. So let's start. We put the rice. Gotta have rice. So in our first video we put, we made lao lao. And we made kalo pig. Chicken long rice. And we made mac salad. Our easy mac salad. And our last video was our lomi salmon, where Brad showed you how to make salted salmon here in the 801 because we can't find that here. So here you have our version of the Hawaiian plate. It's a traditional Hawaiian plate. So a little bit of history uh, and background on the Hawaiian plate. If you didn't know, Hawaii was once run by a monarchy. And we had kings and we, our last reigning monarch was actually a queen, Queen Liliuokalani. Well, at one time, there was a couple system that was in play. So like certain laws and taboos that um, the Hawaiian people abided by. One of those taboos was the aikapu, or the foods, certain foods that were taboo. So what's symbolic for us as far as it comes to the Hawaiian plate is it's kind of a symbol of when King Kamehameha II abolished the aikapu system. And he welcomed his mother and women, so men and women were able to eat together for the first time. This is what it represents. It represents more than just the food and the love that we put into it, but also the love of family and ohana and men and women together enjoying food and company. Yay! Okay. Ready to eat? Yes. I am ready. The Hawaiian plate is more than just the food. It is about family, ohana, and friends, and celebrations. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this food. We thank you for our family, for the ohana that we have here. When we partake of this Hawaiian plate, we think of all the wonderful memories and times that we've had with our ohana back home and here in the 801. You'd be amazed that Yuta has this. You want some of that fat? Keep it juicy and the flavor. And then you just wrap it like a present. This is the new Lao Lao steamer. Shred them up. Today. So this is how we make chicken long rice in the 801. Once your eggs have come to a boil, you turn off your heat, cover it, and let it sit for 10 minutes and you have the perfect boiled egg. Put the mayonnaise in there. Salt and pepper to taste. We use a grater and we just push it right through. Mix it all together. Slice it lengthwise. Your salted salmon. Lomi, lomi. Your ingredients together. It's so nice to hear this word. 